Welcome back to a, another weekly vlog. It's week seven. Nova starts kindergarten. Ah! <laughs> it's Monday. Ooh, big girl. My hair. <laughs> what are we doing today? We are going to go meet my teacher. That's right. Her name is Miss Payne. So, we have orientation today where we basically, parents come and view the school and all the things. Nova meets your teacher, we meet her teacher, we see her classroom, we see all the things because we've never been to the school. So, whew, I'm excited. We need to go right now though. It starts at 8, it's 7.38. Let's head out. Good morning. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Make sure you're subscribed and let's get on with the week. All right, so I just grabbed some wake up wraps for Nova and I. You, you usually just eat one, right? Yeah. Yeah orientation was good we got to officially meet nova's teacher so that was interesting oh, i have to sprinkle some of these under my pillow oh is that right okay. so the orientation was cool it was pretty standard just like go to her homeroom class where her, where her class is and meet the teacher and the teacher just did like a little powerpoint where she basically just talked about all the main bullet points that are on the school's website like pick up time and um, drop off time and all the things and just like I signed up to be a class mom and, and mommy came I just feel like I'm gonna be a helicopter parent because what? I just, I want to be like up in the mix. Like I want to know what's going on. I want to know what y'all are learning. Thank you. Have a good day. Mm. The cutest mug ever. In this Barbie pink color. I stopped at Dunkin' but I've recently been, but I recently had all these cute new coffee mugs. And this one that I'm sipping on today comes with this cute heavy um like frosted coaster for the mug and it's just so cute like like literally what an aesthetic i love these like chunky mugs i'll leave the description um i'll leave the link in the description box below for you guys to shop the mug but it is so nice like i just feel like it has completely leveled up my mm, my coffee slash tea morning vibe mm. coffee is so good okay while i sit down and get some work done nova has been tasked to cleaning up her room getting it nice and organized it's not play baby, 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 baby. play baby by justin bieber all right finally at my desk let's get some work done look how cute she is oh it's a 10 ounce mug so nova requested to show y'all website and editing and just doing all the things it's about 4 30 now i'm about to film a video right now and then around six o'clock i'm going to start my evening prep for no the first day of school so i got a couple of things i need to do i need to label some of her like clothing book bag headphone items i also need to pack her lunch and snack and i also need to we need to lay on nova's clothes we need to bathe nova feed nova for dinner um and then that is pretty much it. I need to go. I need to tidy up my house before we go to bed because um, um, basically the whole family's coming over in the morning. So um, to see Nova off to her first day of school because extra people can't um, come to the school drop off. Only one or two parents. That's what the rest of my evening is gonna look like? I'm filming two videos right now. Actually, I'm going to be doing. The first video for home tone i'm about to hang up some bookshelves remember i bought these bookshelves like second for was it the first 
first weekly vlog i don't remember i think it was the first weekly vlog anyways we're on weekly vlog seven now and i'm just now actually like making the steps to put the bookshelves up so this is what they look like and i'm thinking about lining this perimeter of this doorway with bookshelves and i think it'll just look really cool it'll be a wall of books and i just think that that's pretty dope so so yeah i'm about to hang i'm about to hang some of that up now um film that separate video then i'm going to start another separate video if you guys haven't already watched this video has already been out way out but it's nova's first day of school vlog i felt like it was nice to commemorate with its own video and just like do school eve night before prep and then morning of and seeing her off to school and then ending it with how school went and all the things so i'm gonna make that its own separate video so if you haven't watched that make sure you guys check it out uh, such a cute video so I just can't believe my kid is freaking starting kindergarten this week. And then um, that'll like pretty much wrap up my evening because I need to go to bed too because mommy can't be tired. Mommy's got to get up. So people are going to be here by 6.15. So and I need to be out of here by like 6.45, 6.50. So ah! <laughs> definitely so excited. Made some tea, midday tea, a little bit of jade passion i did like two reels for this which could potentially be three um but and then i filmed a whole video for it and that video is actually gonna go up on my hometown youtube channel y'all i started a whole another youtube channel and i'm really excited because it's pretty much the home of all of my home decor and just like beautiful things that make me feel fulfilled that channel is what that is oh my gosh look at this too <laughs> no was biting her broccoli and was like ow that tooth was already wiggling a little bit oh my god it's moving to lock my door i just got done meditating y'all today is the first day of school first day of kindergarten for nova and um and it just has been a morning if you guys haven't seen nova goes to the nova goes to kindergarten vlog please go watch it it's so sweet you want to know everything that happened this morning and pretty much last night with kindergarten prep um then it's definitely all in that separate vlog so i'm back home now i'm gonna try to get as much work done as i can before it's time to pick her up from school i'm just like what the actual heck like this whole new schedule is flipping me out like i don't even know made it back home the day school day is done now we're home it's like 4 30 4 40 and nova is already showered she had a snack when she came home so um she's chilling right now playing with her toys and stuff i'm about to go to the gym so around six but it's only like 4 45 now so i'm gonna still work in this time span while nova's playing and then i'm gonna run to the gym den's gonna be here and just like you know kicking in with her helping her eat her food um and then when i get back it'll be perfect timing for the gym so let's just see how this first day schedule goes i'm trying to do different things and figure out what works for us um now with this new school schedule so this is me just doing it just trying we just going with the flow <laughs> y'all she is so smart and innovative so she wanted to she i've had like extra styrofoam around like just from packages and stuff and so she was playing with it and she was like look mommy i made this and i want to put it on my fridge i'm like okay well i don't have any she's like oh i can use a glue stick 
I was like, well, let's not put no glue on your fridge. And then she was like, well, shoot. Like, you know, she was like, well, please, can I use glue? Can I use glue? Do you have tape? I was like, no, I don't have tape. So then she found some sticky notes. And so what she's doing is putting the sticky part of the sticky note on the wall and then applying glue here. And then she put the stock, applying the glue here and then putting the styrofoam on top of the glue. I'm, oh, this is just, this is a stack. This is a stack of them. Maybe you want just one? So she's been getting creative and figuring it out for herself. <laughs> but that was so smart of her. Like, wait, why are you using that trash? Girl, what? Anyways, I just thought that was a really creative way to figure out how to put something up on the wall. Like, <laughs> so smart. Left for the gym, but was attacked by ants. So I missed my class, so now I'm back home, but it's fine. Nova's eating dinner now. I had a great day at kindergarten. She had a great day at kindergarten. Dino nuggets, rice, and green beans. It's about 6.32, so when she's done eating, we'll read a book. Unfortunately, the sun will be shining, but it'll be nap. It'll be bedtime. It'll take Nova some adjusting to get used to like going to bed on time at a decent time now. I've been trying to fill in my little acrylic calendar that I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But I put the week one here below because I wanted it to be easily readable for Nova so that she can see like, okay, she's going to PE today. She has music today. So I'm going to put her specials on here. And then I'm also going to put when mommy flies out so that she can like visibly see when I leave and when I come home. I don't know how the rest of my night's going to go. Maybe I should be productive. But part of me wants to just do some full moon rituals and some full moon vibes um journaling and stuff because it is a full moon today so and it's the first of the month so it's like the energies are like really magical today so hopefully you guys were at home doing some stuff to get your energies and your, ch and your chakras right um but yeah i'll probably eat the same thing as nova because i made enough for myself and they're literally just frozen chicken nuggets so simple easy tonight Your um your name tag on is I'm hanging on the front door. Day two, we woke up kind of late, but we're leaving on time. We just need to like throw a hat on or something. Today was a normal drop off day for school, and um, when I pulled up, it was about 7 11. <laughs> to be way more productive like recently in the past two days today and yesterday um now it's like i know i have just a limited amount of time to like have uninterrupted workflow so like for this is day two of like dedicating up until 10 or 11 for um really up until 10 for like morning ritual things so that's including today i did the gym that was my first day back in the gym in a while but um meditation journaling and reading so i like to really i just really like to do those things in the morning it just helps me feel more centered but this is day two of me doing it like in a consistent type of routine like an actual daily routine type of vibe um and then i immediately from there go into any like admin stuff so working on my website and doing emails um, and social media posting. I like to post earlier in the day instead of later because it just gives people like especially like for my business or my personal page. I feel like when you put time stamps on things, you're able to be just more productive and feel like you can get more done out of your day. 
For example, even when it comes to my working, I know I need to get a video up today, but I'm not about to be crazy about like the editing process and stuff like that. I feel like if I know I want to spend 30 minutes reading a book today for pleasure, I should do that. I should pause my editing, allocate 30 minutes to reading a book, set an alarm. That way it's just like you're able to complete and do more things in your day instead of letting like one task or one whatever thing dictate your entire day but a lot of my work and stuff and editing and all that stuff like life is content <laughs> so i'm about to make i'm about to like example i'm about to make an iced coffee right although i'm supposed to be making breakfast and all the things i'm still filming for my weekly vlog i'm gonna bring my thing over and film making coffee uh for like a reel or whatever the case may be so there's just like I just feel like all day is a workflow, you know, but the one time that I make sure that I'm not like filming or just like doing anything that is like distracting is when I'm doing like my morning stuff, meditating, journaling and all of those things. Good morning. It is, uh, what's the day? Thursday. <sighs> Y'all, I need to get my car clean. Ants attacked me the other day on Tuesday. No bueno. But honestly, I need to clean my car anyways. It looks a crazy mess up in here. So. So. Uh, it is 822. I'm on the way to uh, my sister's house to uh, watch B-Boy. Because Noah's at school. So we did drop off day three, you know, all the vibes, same thing that we've been doing for the past two days. Um, it's been good. I'm just so nervous, like, as a mom. It's nice to know, like, what's going on in school and stuff like that. But um, yesterday, I didn't film too many clips because after Nova got home from school, um, Nova is an avid nap taker. She takes like a two to three hour nap every day. Um, so they don't get naps in kindergarten. Like I remember being in kindergarten and getting a nap. Like I just think like even an hour, like nothing. Um, so, but she gets out of school so early, like at like two o'clock when on a normal time, like I would lay her down. Sometimes she won't be asleep till two, two thirty. So I think I'm going to start like weaning her off of naps by giving her one here and there. Like today she's getting a nap after school because yesterday was such a, I just think that she's dealing with a lot, you know, of the, I think she's dealing with a lot in the transition and just like, you know, it's different things are changing the schedule is different you're up earlier you're in bed earlier she be in bed by she be in bed by um by 7 30 now so it's much different than 8 30 a whole hour difference is definitely different and then she's waking up not until we wake her up like we have to get her so anyway she's a lot whinier and just like you know, listening skills, not all that great. Um, so you can just tell her behavior has definitely changed in the last two days. Um, and I think that it's just, it's a transition. That's just like to be expected. She's having big days. Like school is a definite different, you know, it's different. Especially going from like her in-home daycare to like big girl school. She's approaching it very well though she's very excited about it she talks about school all the time she's ready to go back like she enjoys having she enjoys eating her packed lunch from home like she enjoys going to the cafeteria in the morning for breakfast so i just think that i think that she's liking it rightfully but i do think that the the changes into in the structure of our days are changing and so she's just adjusting she's just adjusting and it'll get better every single day so I'm not worried about what's happening but in order to gain control and to keep her from you know having these moments of behavior issues 
I think I will start to implement some type of like hour or 90 minute nap when she gets home because that means she can she don't need to be asleep past 4 30 and Nova is a sleeper so she will still go to bed just fine having woken up around 4 or 4 30 um play shower well she'll probably no yeah play shower dinner and by that by the time we're done with her evening routine she'll be ready for bed again so so yeah last night was a little bit of a rough one my girl did not have her listening ears on and it was just a all around like kind of a rough night for us um and I think I'm definitely attributing that to getting accustomed to the new changes that are happening but she's still enjoying it um so yeah so here we are today it is Thursday I'm watching my nephew today for my sister um she works from home but like you know but um Miss Sharon is actually closed this week so Nova would be home all week this week if she wasn't in kindergarten so I Tippy sticky tape on, and I just sticked it on and just stayed. And then the next one is just a box that I colored, and foods in there. I'm cooking that right now. I think I'm gonna let it have 20 or 30 more minutes in there. And then this is now because I made this out of trash because this black color, this, this white color. But itself is not really that pretty. So I add some like colors to it, like a whole bunch of colors. So that's how very creative I am. Had a little dance party real quick. Nova requested chicken noodle soup tonight for dinner, so chicken noodle soup was what she got. Um, I'm going to try to use this time. I today, y'all, I laid Nova down for a nap after school, and I think that it is the best thing to do because she went right to sleep <laughs> and she woke up like well really it started thundering um so the thunder and lightning really is what woke her up but I was gonna wake her up at 4 30 anyway she woke up at like right at 4 40 so it worked out um I think that the nap is really gonna help with this transition because being up all day like that is just that's a lot for her she is an avid nap taker so she takes at least a three hour nap every day and she hasn't been recently so um and I can definitely see the, the difference um so today we took a nap and she's been cool I've been playing with her so since she woke up I haven't really been able to get no work done so I'm about to do some more editing here right now while she's eating dinner um after dinner Nova will take her shower and then we'll play for a little bit longer before we read a book and then it'll be bedtime so it's six o'clock right now so that's pretty much how our night is going I'm gonna pack her lunch um I'm off one more day tomorrow so I'm gonna try to really utilize the day but I'm gonna be babysitting again so I um I don't know we'll definitely just see how tomorrow goes but this is what you bring in mm -hmm. okay can i see the inside we do that like this is scary i do not it's miss trenchable it. I don't like did let me see the front is your name on it so nova is reading able to read this book she wrote her name it belongs to and then of course we wrote it so just in case she loses it but um all right put it in your book bag next forky came Face to face with a ham turkey. Hi, I'm Forky. Hi, I'm Mr. Chicken Fingers. <laughs> Chicken Fingers, but you're a ham turkey. 
and Zora's fork named Forky. But you don't see me complaining. <laughs> It's already made. You got pizza at the end. This is the last time for pizza. Yes. I get pizza again. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me see. Oh. Oh. You got me a rice krispie treat and a, a midday square. Yeah, just in case you didn't like your midday square, okay? Okay. Oh, yes, no more of those chips. I mean, those um, bar. Okay, grab your lunch box. Oh, she gets your water bottle out the fridge. No, not long socks. The long socks are too. No, I have these. Yeah, hurry up. Why don't you have them on yet? Put those. What is that? Put them in your room. They don't belong right there. Okay, don't forget you have your roll doll book today, okay? It is late in the day, 7, 18. I'm cooking some meals so that I can um, go to work tomorrow with stuff to eat. So just prep, just slowly like prepping myself. I have to leave here around 8.30 in the morning for work. Today has been a pretty chill day. I've been able to get lots of work done. I babysat uh, my nephew again today, um, and which is a breeze. He's a good baby, like good kid. He's two, but he's like a good kid, easy to take care of. Um, and then I came back here. Nova came home from school, and we did lay her down for a nap. This is Friday. We were like, she didn't get up. We let her get her wake herself up, and it was about five o'clock when she woke up. Um, place a target order so that I could have food to bring to work. Um, I'm only going for a two-day trip. I'll be back late. Like, I don't land until 
12 18 in the morning on sunday night so technically monday but so i'll be back i probably won't get back here sunday night until like 1 30 close to 2 which kind of says probably won't be two two is like the extreme end of things like if we are delayed or whatever but i doubt that that'll be the case um i haven't been working like two weeks so i'm really mentally trying to get myself together in that aspect so after i cook and stuff i will i have pizza in the oven for dinner tonight um when i'm done cooking i'll like throw some stuff together for a layover um i lay over long raleigh durham um layover so I'm not going to be doing anything on that layover. So I'm literally probably just going to pack like, I'll probably still pack my big suitcase, but I'm not really going to actually put a lot of things in there because I just need to utilize, I have 17 hours there. So I just need to utilize that time to like get as much work done as I can. I'll probably call it a late night tomorrow. So like get to my hotel around 10 p.m. I believe and just stay up late, get work done and then sleep in the next day because we depart around 3 in the afternoon on Sunday to start the day back from our layover so that's pretty much how I'm mentally planning um, this work trip I'm about to go on um, it shouldn't really it really shouldn't be too 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 bad but yeah that's what's happening right now Nova had a great week at school y'all I'm just so proud of her she had a great reports back today and she said she really enjoyed She said she really enjoyed um, bringing her chapter book today. She said she read multiple chapter books. I'm not really sure how true that is, but she said she read multiple chapter books today. Um, so that's good. And just like, I think that she's officially starting to get the vibes, you know, the school vibes and like what it means to be in kindergarten because Nova's always been very independent, but this is like a different sort of independence where like she walks to the cafeteria by herself. She walks from the cafeteria to her class by herself. And it's just such a big transition. But I think that overall we've had a really good week. I'm just really still adjusting to the schedule. But it's honestly really not that bad. Like it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Her being home um, like earlier in the days now. It really isn't. Like I kind of was over exaggerating the over exaggerating the situation because I was like dreading her coming home, but I really don't want her to be like at ASP unless it's like absolutely necessary. So anyways, that is how our night is going. Um I'll definitely bring you guys to work with me tomorrow. I'm not really too sure. This vlog it's the week of first week of school and us being non-school parents before Jesus. Ah. Ah. So, so yeah, cooking dinner, I hopefully, we'll see, but I really would like to wake up in the morning, make a nice heavy breakfast <laughs> before I head out to work. 8.30 is pretty early still, so I feel like I don't know. I need to go to bed at a decent time tonight if I want to get up in the morning and have like a good morning. You know what I'm saying? Like be able to meditate and get my mind right before I leave for work because honestly, emotionally, mentally, I'm just not here for it. <laughs> like I love my job. Don't get me wrong. But gosh, sometimes it's just like I just really feel like I need to go on some sort of like mental, emotional leave like maybe just like a month <laughs> but the only thing is like I need that to be paid I need that to be a paid leave okay so anyways it's been a good day oh and I caught up on Love Island so the new episode the finale actually drops tonight I did not think that I would be catching up to actual like I literally caught up to the day that it releases for the final so unfortunately I already know who won <laughs> but um but I am, I, that was a really good season in my opinion, you know, if you watch Love Island, um, you guys can start a little chat in the comments below because there's so much to talk about about this season in my opinion. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go to work. It's like eight o'clock on the dot. I showered, packed, and did all the things last night, so got my little morning tunes playing here but um about to 
I'm probably going to wear braids today to work, but I'm going to refresh these. So I'm going to take it out, fix the part, and redo those. About to do all my bathroom stuff. It shouldn't take me but 30 minutes to get ready, honestly. If I'm honest. <sighs> I am dreading this. I don't know why. I wish I could change my mindset. Like, I need to, like, just get in my money bag. You know what I'm saying? But, girl, it's just... <sighs> I slept to the last moment I needed to get dressed. It's just a mess here. In my emotional, mental state. So, good morning. It's Saturday. Hopefully it's a good work day. I have a fully junior crew. I am the most senior, so hopefully it's a good trip. At least I get to pick where I sit. Oof. Other than that, Nova's gonna go with my mom today and spend time with her and my nephew. She's gonna keep them for the night. And yeah, let's just see how the day goes. It's 8.41, I got some tea, but Dimitri just came with some Chick-fil-A. So I'm excited, Nova's eating right now. And they have offered to bring me to work, so I'm excited. I I asked for coffee with my order, but I'm going to take that to work, and I'm going to drink some tea first um, while I'm here at the house and some water. Um, so before I sip this, though, I need to give it a little stir. Yes, I'm pretty much ready. I just need to throw my uniform on, and I think what I'm about to do before I start eating breakfast is pack up my lunch bag, so let's do that real quick. On a, the 737 900 series aircraft, and we're still not starting yet. They just got yeah, done cleaning. Oh, looks like we're ready. Boarding. All right, so y'all heard that? We finna start boarding. So, Whew. feeling good. The crew seems really, really nice. So, it should be a pretty good trip or whatever. And we're not full, so yay! See y'all. Where this is a Nassau turn, so and then we have like a sit in Atlanta and then we'll go to Raleigh tonight. So I'll catch y'all later when I'm actually done working. done working for the day I just sat down to finally eat a hot meal um, I haven't really eaten anything all day um, we had crew meals on our first flight which was cool but it was just like the same thing they always give us a turkey sandwich so right now I'm enjoying a pineapple spindrift if you haven't tried the pineapple flavor what are you doing mmm Oh my god, it literally tastes like pineapples. It really is so good. I'm enjoying some, for dinner I have some um, honey sriracha meatballs with some green beans and some of the Velveeta mac and cheese. So that's what I'm eating tonight. It's been a good day. I don't know what the night's vibes are going to be. It's about 10.23 right now. Um, I originally had the idea to like hang out and... Um, oh, let me bless this food. I originally had the idea to stay up and kind of make tonight a work night. And I'm really leaning towards that because right now I don't necessarily feel sleepy. I just kind of like want to relax. Um... So I think I might try to like, so I think I might try to do some work. Um, I have this desk here, this chair, 
it's a comfortable suite style room so the bedroom is in another place and right now I'm in like the living area there's like a little mini kitchen there's a little mini kitchen that has um, a microwave so I don't have to leave the room um, a fridge like all the things the only time I plan on leaving the room is tomorrow morning because we do get free breakfast so I'm gonna always show up for some free breakfast, okay? Honestly, when I'm at work and I bring food, I'll be bringing the same type meals over and over again because it's just easier. Oh yeah, it was just real crazy at the airport. Um, the trip was good overall, but today it's crazy because all day things have been going smooth and on time, and then when we get to Atlanta, it's a crap show there. Like we didn't even. We were affected by it in the air, just like physically, like it was more bumpy than usual, doing like initials for finals, I meant finals for initials and stuff like that. But um, but then we landed in Atlanta and sat there for two hours before even getting a freaking gate because the weather was so bad in Atlanta all day, flights were being canceled and planes were getting there late. It was just like so many people waiting on gates or all the gates were full so we sat for like two hours and um and yeah I finally made it and then I was trying to get out of the airport and it was like so many people y'all at this point it's like 1 45 in the morning it's so many people it looks like 2 p.m on a Monday or a Friday like busy so it's like people laying everywhere like just the operation was just I think it was just the weather and sometimes that just happens you know what I'm saying like you just can't control it and airlines do the best that they can but like at the end of the day it just turns into like a domino effect you know was what we experienced so anywho just thankful to be back home ate some food just kind of just been winding down so now I'm about to go to sleep but I was like I cannot not end a weekly vlog this one has just kind of been like real spotty but I know y'all appreciate the content regardless first week of school is done entering second week of school tomorrow so Stay tuned for Weekly Vlog 8, <laughs> and we're going to keep this thing going. So, anywho, thanks for watching. Love you guys, as always, and I'll see you next week in the video. Bye!